Thank you, dear Joes. Okay, long speeches are not so uh, very good, uh, so I'm going to try to make it rather short. Excellencies, honorable guests, it's a great pleasure for me to be here and uh, give you the chance to discuss about smart cities. Smart cities needs smart people. And you are these smart people, so I hope you transport all the information you get today to all the other young and older people who can change this India. I had the chance to see your country around 40 years ago. It was really different, of course. I was here in Bangalore. It was very different. And then I had a break for a long time, and coming back around well, 13 years ago. And then it changed. It was amazing for me seeing your country. And it's still amazing for me to see it now, what is happening here in Bangalore, South Driving Metro, and something like that. And the next steps could be all these topics you discuss today and tomorrow. Waste management, water management, electricity, all the challenges in the future, mobility, housing, health, infrastructure. And you need people. You need young people who can do this. For example, water management is not only a technical problem. It's a problem of management. It's a problem of thinking and feeling. You have to change the mind. Water should cost money. It's a little bit difficult. Maybe it's also a political challenge how to manage that. Of course, I'm a representative of a university. We founded the Bavarian Indian Center around 10 years ago to organize the exchange of young people between India and uh, Germany, building bridges to transfer the different cultures. I'm convinced you have an excellent culture. More than 7,000 years. I studied a lot about your history and I'm fascinating about your country. But now you have to form the future. And you can only form it with young people. Today, this, uh, two days ago, I discussed about Industry 4.0. That's very important. But you also have to discuss about Employment 4.0. You have to discuss about the Society 4.0. And that's a big challenge within the next 10, 15, 20 years. And maybe in 20 years, you live in a different India. I hope in a very important India. Maybe number two, number one in the world, in the economic world. Yeah, I'm convinced about that. You can make it, but you also have to find solutions to give, uh, give jobs to your young people. The young people are the treasure of your country, but they are also a kind of risk for your country. In a world of digitalization, you need excellent, educated people because the network of machines will do the work, more or less. What do you do with the rest? That's a challenge in my country. That's a challenge in the United States of America. It's a challenge all over the world and also here. So, of course, the next step will be the discussion about the waste management and all the topics you have today and tomorrow. And I'm sure you will solve this problem. But then be prepared for the next steps. And the future begins today. The future for the next 10 years, for the next 20 years. And I repeat it. You have to start to educate the young people now. And don't try to develop India totally. That's quite impossible. Start with a cell, like the 100 cities of smart city uh, program here in India. It's an excellent program. And if you start, for example, here in Bangalore, you have a special example for the rest of uh, India. Then, step by step, you develop the rest of it. And I'm sure that this discussion today and the other days will help you and all the others. You're only the ambassadors for the ideas and for the politics. And so, I wish you a wonderful future. And when I come back, 
I come back to India every year, normally for two, three, four times. But when I come back in 10 and 15 years, I hope I can see self-driving cars, self-driving buses. We have a research program at my university uh, for self-driving buses. But you should know, these buses have no drivers. Okay, but you need people who organize this driving. The high intelligence in the field of the IT sector, and so on and so on. And if you learn to mix the different disciplines, the engineer should know a little bit more about idea and business. A businessman should know a little bit more about IT and technical stuff. If you have this chance for interdisciplinarity in the education, these young people conceive what will happen in the future. So I wish you a wonderful conference now for the next days. I wish this city and the rest of India an excellent future. I'm really sure that you will have this future.